Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Linux Suite. Today, we're going to be taking a look at XRP. And before we actually get into the technicals of what's happening here with the volume port of control and the buy zone, uh, we want to direct your attention to the FX YouTube channel. If you enjoy the content that we put out and want to stay updated to the hardest trends, please make sure to the subscribe button and click on the bell icon. You can also follow us on Twitter at FXS Crypto and myself at Monday with Zero at the end. Right? So, uh, honestly, this, this downswing that we saw here on probably April 12th, April 11th was a pretty good uh, drop, which kind of bounced off of this uh, buy zone here, which extends from 6.62 to 0.68, right? But if you just go back to the video uh, that I did, uh, I think probably before April 11th, April 11th was a Monday. So I think probably somewhere on April 8th, in April 8th's video, I think I mentioned we were the buy zone and then I would be more inclined to buy XRP if we get a retest of the 70.5 as compared to the 62 retracement level here, right? And since like, that's what I mentioned, right? And that's what I'm still hoping for. But the bounce here was a pretty good run up. It was a pretty good uh, swing trade I could have taken, but the price failed to move above this 2022 volume point of control. And the volume point of control is basically where the price has traded the most or basically the most volume for this particular asset was traded. So for XRP, that is 0 0.76, somewhere around 0 0.77. And so far, price hasn't been able to move above that. So we're getting a retracement down to, into the buy zone. But in this time, I'm expecting the price to head down to 0 0.7, 70.5 7, retracement level here, 0 0.65 dollars. Right, so I, I'm expecting some sort of a better bullish breaker setup to form here. Price does this and comes back here and then finally shoots up. Right, this is what I'm expecting for uh, for the long term, but I think we can refine it on a lower time frame. I think I think we could do that once price comes back down to the 70.5 here. So, yeah, I think something along the, the line, something along this, is what I'm expecting for XRP. In which case. This is where I'm going to be booking my first profits, uh, mainly because of the equal highs that was formed here. And beyond this, we also have the 1.38 time, which is an extremely uh, greedy uh, take for this long position. Uh, although I'm not quite sure if it's actually going to uh, rip up to 1.38, mainly because of how choppy the market has been. You can see here, it's been stopped trading uh, in a range for quite some time. Right, this is this is uh, a conservative bullish outfit that I'm looking at, but if Bitcoin, like, keeps dropping uncontrollably uh, and probably was 34, 33K, uh, then I'm expecting the price to come breach all of these support levels here at 0 0.60, 0 0.518. And we could sweep below this low here and collect the uh, liquidity resting above these equal lows formed on 21st and 22nd of June and July. So I think this, uh, an entry over here would also be a pretty good uh, place to go long for XRP. So yeah, I think overall uh, XRP has been in a really good spot as compared to Bitcoin and Ethereum where Bitcoin and Ethereum could crash by quite a lot if they break the respective significant levels for Bitcoin it's 35K, roughly 35K. And for Ethereum, I think it's uh, 20, I think it's 25.41. I think if, if we get a weekly close below uh, this level here, there's a good chance of it's a slippery slope. Price could head down to 2K, sub 2K, and then this is where I'm expecting to like buy a lot of stuff, basically. So back to XRP, right, guys? Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, upside, probably capped at $1. And if you're extremely optimistic, you could probably uh, be looking at 1.38. And the downside, capped at 0.60 uh, for, for this conservative outlook. But if you're looking at a long-term uh, bearish outlook, you could see the price come down to 0 0.51, 0 0.50, which is uh, honestly a really good buy. So yeah, uh, if you enjoyed this session, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.